do you feel taking on that role? Really excited. They are the new honored heroes and the new faces of inspiration when it comes to fighting cancer. For the past 21 years, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of the Greater Sacramento Region has chosen kids to be the voices of their campaign. And this year's Boy and Girl of the Year are a symbol of courage and hope. CBS 13 Sherman Roger has a story. I'm really excited that they chose me. Ten-year-old Emma has had a long and painful journey, but you wouldn't know it by just looking at her. She was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia in 2009, and after 26 grueling months of treatment, she is now five years cancer-free and the new face of hope. My parents surprised me by bringing me this doll and saying, you are girl of the year. After interviewing a number of kids, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society saw something extra special in their choices this year. They have shown such courage and bravery and their families are just exemplary. Both families will now be called to speak at events and help raise money to fight blood cancer. And I just think that she'll represent very well and make sure that kids that have cancer or that are going through it, she can help them by just letting them know you're going to be okay. Ever since she was born, she's always had this, this fire inside and, you know, it just makes me so proud that she can um, share her message of hope and positivity with other kids. And Emma's not alone. This year's Boy of the Year is quite the inspiration himself. I'm strong and brave. Three-year-old Fritz, or Super Fritz as they call him, has been strong and brave. Fritz was diagnosed with leukemia in 2015 and is going through the maintenance phase of his treatments, getting chemo every night. He is strong and fierce and courageous, and he has a wonderful attitude about it all. Fritz's parents, Anna and Ben, have tried to make this process fun for Fritz, his brother Payne, and the whole family, and are looking forward to giving back. Turning what we've been able to, or what we've gone through into a positive and being able to to share the opportunity um, uh, with other people. It's really nice that Fritz gets to be um, a little bright star for everyone. Two sets of proud parents and their kids have a powerful message to pass on. Don't lose hope and stay positive because I never lost hope and my parents told me not to. <laughs> How adorable are they? <laughs> And we send them our good thoughts. Oh, yes. Obviously. Again, on January 26th, Emma was five years cancer-free. And Fritz is progressing well. His last day of treatment is December 11th of 2018.